Kelsey. Bear, Kelsey. I'm coming, hold on. Come on, baby. You're the one that wanted coffee talk. What do we got today? Hope you guys are doing well. Kelsey's on her way. Oh my word. Good morning. Hi, friends. What are you wearing? What do you mean? I was cleaning out my closet. What is this? A tiara. You're wearing a tiara? What, what else you got for And I got on my tutu. Oh my gosh, guys. She is wearing a tiara and a tutu. Yes. Why? Well, I was organizing my closet. Have you guys ever heard of Marie Kondo? She is, Does she own condos? No, she's the queen of organization. And she says when you're cleaning out your closet, you have to hold each item and see if it brings you joy. If it brings you joy, you get to keep it. This brings me joy. I mean, I know I can't wear it out of the house, but... No, I don't, like, you can wear it on the golf cart around the property, but, like, you can't leave the gate. But you gotta make sure it doesn't get caught in the golf cart wheels. Okay, I can do that. It might throw you around and drag you down the road behind it. What is your closet cleaning rule? Keep it clean? Yes, that's no. important. Guys, welcome today. Kelsey's already welcome. surprised us. Welcome here to Coffee Talk with the Flippin' Experts. And guys, we love having you guys here. Love being with you guys every single morning this week. And we're gonna do it through the weekend. I think we, we said are. seven days straight. And we just wanna help encourage you guys through what's going on. And of course, we get some surprises along the way, thanks to Kelsey. And uh, this is that's okay. Life. I got a surprise for her too. Boom! My camouflage slippers. I found them. I had to take out my hunting stuff since we're gonna be talking about clutter and decluttering. So, um, what does my cleaning look like of my closet? Is that what you asked me? Yes, you've got a rule, a closet rule that I'm trying to follow today. So Kelsey strategically planned it so my closet's way smaller than hers. Okay? And really far away. And far away. So I, I can't have as much stuff as you can. You can. I think most... You've I think got closets in your office too. It's okay. That's for work. So I think a lot of females in the houses... Comment below if you agree with me. If you most, need a big closet. Most women have the bigger closet. And most guys have the smaller closet. Like, my first closet in this house wasn't even a closet. Like, it was like... The linen closet. It was a linen closet. It had one shelf. And I'd, like, hang my clothes from that. So we actually had to have a built-in closet put in for me. And it's still small, but it's all I need. You've I'm not... got room for tops and bottoms and shoes. You're covered. <laughs> I'm covered. I'm covered. But, hey, guys. Today, we want to just take a few minutes and talk about decluttering things, right? Um, I know we deal with this a lot in our physical lives, right? Mm -hmm. With items in our lives, but also in maybe our mindset and our spiritual life in what's going on in the world right now. There's a lot of noise out there. We want to kind of talk about that today. There's a lot of positive noise and there's a lot of negative noise. That's so true. And so, when it comes to the physical clutter, I know that when my house is a mess or my closet's a mess, it distracts me from maybe doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. When I go to work, if I don't clean up before, I sit down, I can't even focus because I'm busy looking at the dishes in the sink or the clothes thrown all around the floor. So it's so important that you get everything mm. in the right order. That way your mind can be free of all the clutter. Yes, right when order is restored in what, whatever area of your life, right? Mm. It allows you to be freed up from the distractions, right? Because sometimes, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I have a to-do list. And I've learned from the big wigs, you're not supposed to have like more than five or six things on your to-do list. Like when you, when you start to clutter the to-do list, it actually deters you from doing it, right? That makes sense. And then they say the hardest things to do, you should do first and put at the top. Because oh, I, like, I like throwing those at the bottom and waiting, procrastinating. And they waiting. never get done, right? They always stay on your list. Mm -hmm. So maybe that can help you and you're decluttering. Yeah. So I know when we, we buy houses, if you guys don't know, we're the flipping experts. We buy and sell and renovate. We rent houses. We have some apartments. And that's what we do for a living. And we enjoy it. We love it to death. And we'll go do cash offers on people's houses. They're like, hey, we want to move. Hey, I can't afford the repairs. Hey, my mom died and I, I, I don't have any use for this house. I live out of state. Would you be willing yes. to step in? Which is something we love about our job because yeah. there's so many people that we get to help get yes. out of tough situations. A lot of tough situations, right? The roof's leaking. Yeah. I don't have any money to repair this, this, and this. And then they can, we can do a cash offer on the house, get them out of that deal to where they can go buy something smaller. We actually had a lady come up behind one of our other houses in Tallahassee, Florida and actually say, hey, listen, 
my husband just died last week, a funeral's in two days. I'm in this five bedroom, three bathroom, 3,000 square foot house, and I just, I can't do it. Number one, the memories, right, of him being there. And then like, I just don't need the space. So our company is able to come in, offer her cash, not go through all these crazy inspections in 45 days. Like we were able to help them and she can actually downgrade and her, her daughter came in, her son came in, helped them do all that. Um, so that's what we love about our jobs. But I know we're talking about decluttering. I go into so many houses to make offers and there is so much junk. And guys, I don't mean, my rule is if I don't touch it for 60 days, I don't, I mean, six months, I don't need it. Mm -hmm. Like if I, if I go through my closet, let's say, and I'm pulling out clothes and like, I usually have like the left side of my closet and stuff I don't touch. Um, if we go through a decluttering, I'm like, Hey, I've not touched this. I haven't touched this. I, now if it's seasonal, that's understandable, yeah. right? You have winter and summer and all that, especially in Florida, it's mostly summer and flip flops, but we de -jump. And that's kind of my rule. If I haven't touched it in six months, boom, it's gone. I, I donate it. I, I give it to Goodwill. I give it to our local community and one of those um, clothing drives. Absolutely. I don't throw it away. I want to continue to bless people with it. But when we go into these people's houses. Can uh, I just add to that jump, quick? Go, man. Yeah. All right, friends and family who are watching. His rule is if you don't wear it for six months, you have to get rid of it. I'm wearing a tutu right now, so that means I get to keep it, right? Come on, comment below. I get to keep the tutu. No. Please. All right, all right, we'll do that. How many of you think she should keep the tiara? You know, no big deal. I don't even know where this came from. It's actually yeah. pretty, you know. Yeah. She never wears it. But if you think she should keep it, post below, keep it. If you think People that it's time, posting. it's time to let go, Kelsey. Even Jackson says keep it. Jackson, sure Jackson, Jackson come on, buddy. Oh, Help okay. me out. Thanks, bro. Oh, it's like that. <laughs> hey, guys, but she... She has this, she hasn't worn it, she hasn't used it, but there are some things that are sentimental, right? Yep. There's some things that, like... Well, it's good clutter. It's good clutter, right. Yes. Like, when you were in pageants, you have memories, you have things you like to hold on to, you have things that you'll be able to show someone someday. You, you know, you and, and your mom can talk about it. You're actually not allowed to wear your crown. When you're a beauty queen, you can wear it for the year. Once you hand it over, you're not allowed to put it on again. Do you, do you hand it over? Do you queen. hand it over or do you keep it? You, you actually get to keep it, but you can't actually wear it, which is why this is just a little cheesy Halloween one. Do you want me to buy you a nice one? No, that's okay. You be my as long queen. as I can keep the two. You can be the queen of my castle. Oh, you already treat me like a queen. Anyway, anyway. Sorry, back to topic. Ba back to real topic. Decluttering. Time. Decluttering. Right, carry on. So, so I think there's a couple of different aspects of decluttering, and one of them is physical items, right? Mm -hmm. Physical things that or cluttering your house, your yard, your shed. Guys, the shed outside, right? I just had to declutter mine because there was just so much stuff thrown in there. Because when we renovate houses, if there's extra products or stuff, somehow it always comes to my house and ends up in my shed that I had to build a big old shed for it now. And finally I was like, you know what? If we don't use it, it gets returned or we're gonna donate it to somebody. So I think there's that kind of clutter. And I see that when I go to a lot of these people's houses and they're not always like old people that have just held it forever. It's just. I mean, I've seen some extreme hoarders. Some stuff. But guys, that, that stuff, stuff, I want to encourage you guys, hoarding and stuff like that, that is dangerous. We've seen some fires. We've seen some crazy stuff, animals, all that kind of stuff. So when we're talking about decluttering, we see it in our everyday life of flipping houses. And we actually have some of our renovation crew that say, hey, let us help them move. We'll rent some trailers. Let's rent a U-Haul truck for them. Let's do whatever we can to help them. And then as we're helping them, we encourage them like, hey, do you really need this? Hey, this is from 1972, it, you know, and, and kind of help them through that. But what other areas do you think maybe there's clutter in that we need to go through on a weekly, a daily, a monthly basis and kind of declutter? Like what other? I think there can be clutter in our minds. Sometimes there can be your own voice in your head telling you that you can or can't do something mm. or distracting you. And I think it's so important that you acknowledge that clutter too and uh, make sure that you clean it out as well okay so here's the cool thing we just talked about being still yesterday we did right what did we talk about we talked about be still set a timeline to what hey every day at this time i'm gonna go do this i'm gonna do a lunch break i'm gonna do it in the morning kelsey does it at night and take time to think about stuff right think think, think time to prioritize what's important to you mm -hmm. and guys this is one of the things that you can do in that still time right while you're prioritizing your life it's like hey i have some clutter in my physical aspect. Like I need to clean this out, I need to do this, I need to do this. It creates more space, more room for things. That doesn't need to go buy more things. That's true. You heard her say it guys, she said that's true. I'm gonna hold her to that. But there's also things in our personal lives that we need to sit down and say, hey, 
all this news that I'm hearing, I normally watch news 30 minutes a day. I'm finding myself doing it for two hours and it's negative news. It's not something uplifting. It's not, hey, the economy's this or different sources. I think social media, I think you talked about social media this morning. Yes, that can be my clutter. I could scroll for hours and it's not benefiting me at all. It's distracting me from what I'm meant to be doing. So for me, that's a clutter that it's important that I turn, turn it off sometimes. And I know we had the talk the other night. I actually got grounded from my phone from my husband because I was just on it all day long doing work emails and talking to family and friends. And some of it was good. Some of it was productive. Some of it wasn't so much. So we instated a rule to clear out the clutter in our house. That's we're right. turning our phones off at 6.30. I think we said 7. Yep. We're going to have dinner together. We're going to be technology free and get all that clutter out of our minds so we can focus on the important things. Yeah. When... when and guys, when, when she says I grounded her, she walked up to me and handed me her phone and That's said, true. It, I it's, wasn't really it, in it, it's time for me. But you have to look at it too in the aspect, some people are on social media to learn things, to see new advertising, to see how people are uh, producing marketing at. That's great, guys. Mm -hmm. It's when you're scrolling, 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 and you're not doing it for um, an advantage purpose. You're just doing it to like... Your mind's bored. Well, and then you get sucked into things too, like terrible stories and silly things that you just sure. don't need to be focusing on. Yeah. And so that's it, clutter. And some of it's funny and some of it's hilarious and some of it's connecting with family. I think you just have to balance it out for you. For us, it's very easy for us to sit here at night and Kelsey does a lot of like Pinterest and um, all these different things where she's looking up new products, new ideas, new thoughts. Guys, that's like work related, but... And it's for our own house too. But we don't want to get sucked into it. And I think that's what clutter is. Clutter is when it's too much, uh, too much TV. Like if you come home at the end of the day and you're like, all right, I just need to binge watch four hours till I fall asleep and go to bed. That's clutter in your life. That's four hours that you're not getting anything back. You're not getting a return, right? Mm -hmm. We talk about real estate. We talk about return on investment. If I invest 30 minutes into a podcast to learn about marketing or to learn about leadership or to learn about this, that's information coming in that can help yeah. my life versus me sitting there watching TV for four hours and not reaping any benefit and not. But the clutter in your life is personal too. So we're no. not saying social media is bad. No. We're not saying TV no. is bad. We're here. Yes, we're here. We appreciate those things. Yes. It's just if it gets to the point where it's distracting you or you're thinking about it all day, it's got all of your attention and all of your focus. That's when it might be clutter in your life that you need to get rid of. Yeah. One thing that's helped me is what do I go to? What's my go-to? So if I'm exhausted is my go-to. And I used to tell myself this for years, guys. Like, I'm so tired. I just need to turn my brain off. The only way I can turn my brain off is if I come home and watch TV. And, and usually that helps me, right? I, I watch some TV for 30 minutes. I usually last about seven minutes. I never really get past that. And I, I, I turn it off and get up. But I was using it as, as an excuse of saying, instead of saying, hey, let me go for a walk with my wife. Let me go take my dog for a run. Let me go work out to, to relieve that work stress versus filling it with clutter that really, it didn't benefit my health. It didn't yeah. benefit my mindset. It didn't benefit anything. So some of you guys maybe are, are out there partying still, right? You're in that party life scene. You're, you're going out every single weekend and having a couple cocktails. And we would just say, okay, does that benefit your life? Is that your norm? And I think the norm is kind of what clutter is, right? Because if it's not the norm, if you're doing it, hey, I'm going out with my girlfriends this, this weekend and blah, 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 and it's, it's not every single weekend and it's not the norm, then that's not clutter to me. What do you think? I don't know. I've never thought of it that way. Kelsey doesn't go out but, and party. So. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so today, today, the call to action, we really want to encourage you guys to think about what's cluttering your life. Yes. Is it the stuff in your house? Is it something in your mind that you keep telling yourself that's not true or something that's happened in the past that you're holding on to and it's cluttering your head mm. and holding you back from what you're meant to be doing? Let's take time today to figure out what that clutter is and figure out how we can just give it away.